I'm Serena Cruz. I am employed in healthcare. I'm a Northeast Portland resident. And most importantly, I am mother to an intellectually curious and authority defying eighth grader at Tubman Middle School. Um, she, she's everything for me. Um, I am thrilled to be joining you all in this launch of Mingus's general election campaign. Our city and our country for that matter is at a crossroads. A pandemic shut us down, then it became impossible for our country to continue to look past police brutality as our focus appropriately landed on the Black Lives Matter movement. And while this swirl of challenges would be enough, this week we went dark. As fires raged, friends and family were isolated or worse, evacuated, as Portland earned the recognition for having the worst air quality in the world. This is the backdrop for the important launch of Mingus's general election. To use an overused phrase, because it's perfectly appropriate here, now more than ever, we need his leadership on city council. I urge you, I, I urge support for him and his campaign for city council for a number of reasons, but here are three of them. Mingus brings lived experience, approachability, and he's open to new ideas. These qualities are a recipe for success in the new Portland. There's no substitute for lived experience in these times. His experience means that he doesn't have to imagine what it feels like to be threatened by the police. When he says, quote, there's no place for racism in policing, we believe him. We also know that he has the skill set to do something about it. We know he will connect with Portland's BIPOC community in a way that brings more people to the table and ensures that government truly works for everyone in this community. It is his approachability that will make him an effective city commissioner. These crises demand a commissioner with an open door to his colleagues or her colleagues and to the community. The only way to govern in the next few years will be to have a leader who can build consensus. With elections, with the elections of Carmen Rubio, Dan Ryan, joining Commissioner Hardesty, Mingus will have the tools and the people he needs to build relationships with these commissioners and our mayor to rebuild our city, focusing on the most urgent matters of police reform, affordable housing, and the environment. This is a time when we need a thoughtful city council one that can engage city staff and stakeholders in efforts to think about new ways to address old problems and new solutions to new problems. It is his ability to be open to new ideas that will make it, make it possible for him to be a crucial council member. After many years in office, I had the privilege of getting advice from a lot of people. Some of that advice stuck with me over the years and one that this, I want to share one that never gets old, and it was the advice of Henry Hewitt, a retired Stoll Reeves attorney who served on numerous controversial organ commissions over the years. He advised me to look for the 80% solution, the one where no one gets everything they want and everyone gets most of what they want. I know that Mingus is the candidate in this race who would make Henry proud and engage with his colleagues in making this a city we can all be proud of. I'm really excited for you to launch this campaign and to win it in November and can't wait to celebrate with you, Mingus.